Um, and the other the other thing I find interesting too is that one of the states I've been looking at is Georgia, and you know I'm I'm big on the election integrity thing, and you know they passed a couple of laws after the 2020 election, um, which um, Joe Biden and and Kamala Harris called Jim Crow 2.0 because they're so discriminatory and suppressing the vote and yada, 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 which, you know, it helps unify the country. You know, when you call people that believe election integrity, Jim Crow. Um, but uh, one of the things I noticed is in early voting in Georgia, which they have um, to date compared to the last midterm election, um, they've gotten about 800,000 more people who have voted in 2022 than did in 2018 in early voting. So it was about 1.5. Uh, today, it's it's roughly in the ballpark of about 1.5 million people in Georgia have voted early, mm -hmm. whether it be in person or absentee. And in 2018, at the same point in time, it was about 800,000. So, you know, and that was and literally double the amount of people that voted, yeah. even though those quote unquote Jim Crow laws were put in place. It, it, sometimes it, it doesn't. It doesn't matter what the what the it, facts. I mean, this is a move in politics, right? Facts and truth doesn't matter. It's it's you know you you can go out there and say whatever crazy things you want to say, and just like in this particular situation, she call it Jim Crow, she call it voter suppression. But at the end of the day, when you got that many more people turning out to vote, I mean, and just like you know we've talked about this before, is like voter ID. It's like well, minorities, you know, aren't aren't able to get identifications. It's harder for them. Like, no, we're we're actually not dumb. We we <laughs> we can figure it out, you know. And here's the thing: is in California, undocumented immigrants can get driver's license. If they can figure out a way to get a driver's license, they can we can figure out how to get an ID, mm -hmm. you know. And it's it's just it's so demeaning. It's it's just it's it's absurd. It's there's a great video on YouTube. I forget the name of the person, but he goes, he goes to Berkeley. He goes to UC Berkeley and he asks kids and the professors at UC Berkeley about voter ID, having a voter ID to vote. And you hear all of the same things. Well, minorities don't have access to the internet or, you know, well, they may have a cell phone, but they don't, they can't afford having data on their cell phone or they don't know where to go to do it. They don't know where the DMV is to do it. And then he goes to East Harlem, New York, which is predominantly black. And he starts asking black people that question on the street. And I'm, I swear to God, I don't know why, why a couple of them just didn't slap him upside the head. They had that look in the eye of, you know, fool, what are you doing? And, and, and because they're like, of course I have an ID. And, and you know, someone else, a young, a young guy, and he's like, man, I don't go anywhere without my ID. And then he says to another woman, he's like, well, do you have data on your phone? And that one there, I thought literally was going to like hit him with her, hand, with her handbag because she's just like so incredulous, like, fool, what are you doing in my face? And, <laughs> and it's like, there you go. I mean, you've got this bubble in Berkeley that has this perception, which, by the way, if you think people are that dumb, that they don't know how to find the DMV or they don't have a phone or they don't have an ID then you are being kind of racist in, yeah. in a reverse kind of way um, and looking down your long white liberal nose at people. Uh, you know, you need an ID to do anything these days, buy concert tickets, get on an airplane, anything. I mean, take a car for a test drive. You need an ID for anything. So, I just went to the I just went to the doctor today and I had to show my my card along with my ID. Mm -hmm. I mean, you need it for everything, but but you said it correctly. It's they look down their 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 liberal noses over at you. They think they're better than you, they think they're smarter than you, and they think that they're there to help you out, to help out the poor minorities because they're so frail and can't figure it out themselves. I mean, that's that's their mentality. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, you know, we, we've got to get to the point where we get beyond it and say, you know what, stop being stupid. I can take care of my own self. I can take care of my community. I don't need your, you know, your, your, your paternalism. protection or so forth. It's paternalism. And, yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, it's, it's absurd. It's, and, and the thing is that they go out there with their lattes hanging out, you know, with their friends and stuff, 
you know, wanting to talk about how the world, how the rest of the world is supposed to act. I mean, that's that whole voter ID stuff. That's just absurd. And, you know, I hope that um, after Georgia is all said and done, you guys are able to push out some of those numbers because, you know, it's important that people see what the reality is um, with those particular numbers. And so I wish you luck on that one. And uh, if anything I can do to help out, let me know and stuff. Well, do you have data on your phone? <laughs> I do have data on my phone, yes. <laughs> Okay, because if you didn't, I'd, I'd give you some of mine because I never use it. There you go. <laughs>